Good morning. The uh, pro tem and I were uh, struck by the governor's remarks, uh, his uh, to, to uh, his call to make sure that we secure California's future, that we continue to build our infrastructural systems. And I also think the swearing in of Javier Becerra as our attorney general was important for the state as well in terms of uh, how we uh, how we move going forward. I think it was a, a very powerful speech. It was a speech that was boldly truthful with regards to what's happening uh, with the rest of the nation, the deep divisions that are real, that can't be ignored, uh, the focus on something that's quite frightening in the American body politic, which is this idea or this concept now called alternative facts, uh, which we interpret as lies, you know, things that are non-existent. But uh, it was a very bold and powerful speech. We're very happy with the speech. I think California, I think uh, Mr. De Leon, the governor, and I have sent a consistent message. We're not turning back. We're not turning back on our progress, whether it's climate change, workers' rights, uh, reproductive rights. We're not turning back in California. Yeah, I agree with the speaker. Um, we've always been very clear and upfront that we hope that a new Trump administration would find value in what we do in California, the good things that have made us the sixth largest economy in the world. You would assume that they would look towards uh, the good policies that we have moved and say, hey, this is something that we can duplicate elsewhere. Um, the fact that they're trying to undermine our progressive policies is uh, we view as, a, as a, a direct threat to the economic prosperity and to the people of California. Well, from our perspective, and I think the governor touched on it as well, we passed the water bond through joint efforts. We're going to try to tackle transportation and housing in the same way. We've always worked in a bipartisan fashion here in California. This, 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 year, this session will be no different. Yeah, no, I agree with, with uh, the speaker. This is a fact that a lot of folks don't know. About 70 percent of all the legislative bills that come out of the Senate and the Assembly are voted on on a bipartisan fashion, contrary to what happens in Washington, D.C. We don't want the Washington, D.C. dysfunction coming to California. And for the Trump supporters, when we raise the minimum wage to $15 an hour, we don't raise the minimum wage only for Democratic supporters or urban centers, but we raise the minimum wage for all individuals, including Trump supporters. When we, when we move policies that clean up our air, we move those policies for all of California, including Trump supporters. In fact, where there's lar the largest concentration, concentration of Trump supporters in California have the worst air quality in America. If the president wants to build infrastructure in California, whether it's roads, trains, uh, et cetera, we want to make sure that workers' rights are protected. We want to make sure that our environment is protected. But we're, we've always been about building infrastructure in, in California. To a large extent, our, our elaborate uh, and advanced water system was built by the federal government. We welcome, we welcome cooperation. We welcome working with the federal government. But we want to make sure that Californians and the California environment is protected. If California's economic cylinders are not firing all at once, and if there's any attempt to maliciously undermine our progress, our economic prosperity, our values, and our people, then you only hurt the rest of the nation. This is something that the speaker and I have said since day one. Any attempt uh, for real, uh, political retribution, revenge, only hurts America because we're 13 percent of the overall GDP of the nation. We want to work and find common ground with the president and his administration when we can move this nation together forward. That includes infrastructure. He touched on infrastructure. He touched on uh, our relationship with the federal government. I, I thought it was a good speech. Um, yeah, uh, you talk on the issue of immigration and civil and human rights, climate, the environment, infrastructure, um, science, facts. We got a little political with the issue of alternative facts. Um, you know, perhaps because California is the window to the Pacific Rim, yeah. the issue of trade, and pulling back a little bit in the zealotry, if you will with regards to other nations. You know, Mexico's our friend, our partner south of the border. They're our largest trading partner. And if he gets in a trade war with China, obviously that may hurt 
California and a lot of jobs may be in jeopardy. So what he says does make a difference out of Washington, D.C., and has an impact on the lives and livelihoods of working Californians. Thank you. Thank you.